Hey folks, it's Chad here, Airstream in Greensboro. Beside me I have the 2023 Bambi 22FB. Now an important question I wanna ask with the Bambi is, is the Bambi worth, well, the price tag for one, but also the difference between it and the Caravelle and the Flying Cloud? Is that lower price really worth what you get in the Bambi? Let's jump into a video and try to answer that question today. Okay, let's start at the front of the Bambi. Now, some of the things that you're going to immediately notice that is different with the Bambi is going to be one, you don't have the rock guards. They do give you uh, that kind of 3M protective bra, I think is what they, they call that. And you're, you're going to get the solar guards. So you still have the solar guards, you just don't have those rock guards. Now, a secret I believe, you can double check me on this, you can add the rock guards here if you really wanted them like you get on the Caravelle and the Bambi. As far as the tongue goes, it's gonna be a manual tongue jack. Again, it'd be easy upgrade if you wanted to take that to electric. You just still get the Demco hitching system, which I do really like. Now, another change is gonna be the battery box. On the Caravelle and going forward, you're gonna get a metal uh, handcrafted battery box that Airstream builds themselves. Now, this is a plastic molded battery box that Airstream purchases from Camco and just puts in place there. I'm also not seeing, there it is. You do have the little solar ex expander port that's right there, and you should still have the propane quick disconnect that is right there. But the box is gonna be different. Um, you'll have two 20 pound propane tanks hidden inside uh, this cover here, which I do like that they give you the really nice aluminum cover to cover that, and it keeps that kind of iconic Airstream look and the center solar guard does open just like on uh, the other you know the caravel and the flying cloud so it will open you do need to open uh, airplane that's a huge military airplane um you do get this the center one and you will need to open it to be able to open that center window that's over the bed but it does open now the construction of the bambi you know, from the front to the Airstream logo, the solar guards, the materials they use, it's the same as the Caravelle, it's the same as the Flying Cloud. There are little changes, which I'm gonna point out, but overall, you're still getting the Airstream quality with the Bambi. Now, up front here, you're gonna find your one and only outside storage compartment. And we currently have the cable in there, but you can see that. A little bit of storage that comes over here, a little bit of storage there, and then to the right side going towards the front, and then you've got your 30 amp power plug right there, the smart plug. It is gonna have a smaller uh, stabilizer. They call the stabilizers on the Caravelle heavy duty. They do not call these heavy duty. Now, you've got your spare tire there. It is Goodyear, just like you get on the Caravelle and the Flying Clouds. Um, now, one thing you'll notice with all Airstreams, they keep the propane uh, hoses outside the camper until they have to enter the camper that's why you see those running across the bottom. That's a safety thing that Airstream does. You've got your tanks right there that are going to be covered in metal as well. Same enclosed underbelly that you're used to seeing with all Airstreams. Now on the wheel setup, you're still going to have the Dexter axle that goes across. This is not going to have the extra damper uh, on each wheel. It's still independent. You just don't have that damper. It still has an aluminum wheel. still good to your tires. But this is going to be a bearing that you you uh, do yearly maintenance on. You want to annually pack these where the Caravelle and going up, it's gonna be a never lube bearing. I believe it comes from Dexter uh, axles. So that is a big difference there. Now still Dexter axles, still independent, still good to your tires, uh, just that you won't have the damper and then you're not gonna have the never lube bearings. Now it's still a manual zip to awning. It is a slightly different awning uh, if you look up here in the corners, you don't have the little screw downs that you would have on the Caravelle and uh, in the Flying Cloud. Same thing on this side. It's actually just going to have two hooks, one right there and then one right here. Now, I have a video on uh, the Zipti awning. Everything else about this awning is the same, so I'm going to link that video above uh, just to make it a little bit easier and, uh, and keep this video short. But I will say, in my opinion, 
I like this awning. I think this is actually easier to work with when you're actually deploying the awning and putting the awning away. Now, not to say that the screw downs are actually gonna be better, but I do like um, just how easy those hooks are. You have one travel ho uh, hook or latch on the normal Caravelle and Flying Cloud, but on the Bambi, you're just gonna have two of those, no screw down. So that's, that is something different there. Um, now, you're gonna have a still step here instead of an aluminum step. You do have your outside power right there and a little outside step light. And then coming around to the back, you won't have that uh, rear bumper here. It's gonna come straight down. And I'll say to me that this actually, I like the way this looks. It's sleeker, it's cleaner without the bumper, but you do lose a, bit, a little bit of storage and I guess potentially a little bit of safety if something was to, you know, someone runs straight into the back of you, I'm sure there's some extra protection that you get by having that bumper there. Now I have a video that compares the 22 Caravelle to a 22 uh, foot Bambi. I'll link that above as well and down in the description if you wanna check out just the exact comparison of the two. Uh, it does come with the standard backup camera. All your lights are LED. Uh, you've got the Bambi badge right here and then spot for your, your tag. You're only gonna have the one light per side uh, the, the caravel i believe you get two uh, but again i like the way this looks i think this looks more iconic uh, it almost honors that true airstream uh, look now moving to what i always call the business side of the coach uh, the windows are going to be different with the caravel you're going to have that true airstream handcrafted window with the bambi this is a window that they source I'm guessing probably Lippard or someone. If you know who they sourced the window from, just leave that in the comments for me. But this is not that handmade window. Only this bottom portion of the window is gonna open. And then down here, the bottom portion of the window is gonna open. Whereas the traditional Airstream window, the whole window will open and it'll come up almost 90 degrees. This is uh, the window that's over the kitchen area. On the Caravelle, it's gonna be two port windows here. So you actually get a bigger window on the Bambi versus the Caravelle. Uh, but it's not going to be that really cool looking um, window that you get that Airstream builds themselves. Now the front window, that panoramic, that's the same window that you get on everything. Now that doesn't change. What does change is these two windows here. And then your window on the back that's in the bathroom is going to be again that same window that Airstream sources instead of the window that they hand build themselves. Now you'll have the same city water fill that does have the pressure regulator built in. You've got a black tank flush right there. Remember, you wanna use this black tank flush every time you dump your tank or really often, because if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Right behind here, you're gonna have your black, or not black, uh, you're gonna have your outside shower with hot and cold water. And then this is gonna have your one cable inlet that could be satellite as well, but you just get one instead of two. And then you've got your 30 amp smart plug. Again, it's an awesome plug. Very easy to plug in and plug out. Uh, I think it's 20% more metal to metal contact. So just better transfer and less heat off of it. Um, and then on top of the plug itself, there's a light that will tell you if there's any issues with the plug. And then this does snap into place to help hold that plug into place. Off of the back corner of the 22 foot Bambi, you're gonna find your dumps for both your black and gray tank. Remember to always pull the black first and then pull the gray. Uh, there isn't a light down here, like you'll see on the Caravelle. Oh no, it's right there, sorry. Right there's your little outside light. I was wrong about that. Uh, so outside light, and then that's gonna be your storage tube for your sewer hose. Uh, I believe it will fit a normal size uh, hose in there, but you can't do two if you're wondering. And then you don't have that, that bumper back there to be able to store another hose back there. And then moving forward, you're gonna have your furnace. The potable water fill is right here. And remember that's just gravity fed. And then your tankless hot water heater is the Gerard. This is the same hot water heater that you get with the Caravelle and the Flying Clouds. And really the whole travel trail line is gonna get that particular um, hot water heater now that is the outside this one as far as options go with the bambi there's not an option for window awnings that's only on the caravel 
You do have an option for solar. I believe on the 22 is 200 watts and then everything else is gonna be a 100 watt option. If you're wondering about specifications with this, this particular 22 foot floor plan, as far as sink sizes, lengths, heights, all that kind of stuff, I'll link that below and you can click that link and it'll take you straight to a page that has all that on there. If you're wondering what the little satellite looking thing is, that is the TV antenna. Then you've got your solar there, your air conditioner right there, it's a Dometic. Uh, there's a outlet right there that's just for the sewer system and that's pretty much the roof. Now this is gonna have the same uh, baked on enamel roof uh, that Tim told us about in the flying cloud video. It's the number one video. If you haven't watched that video, I highly, highly recommend. I'll link it above. Go watch that video because Tim Maxwell with Airstream just gives a ton of information about Airstream, uh, the travel to the lines, flying clouds, tips, tricks. The other thing I'll recommend, go ahead and click that subscribe button because very soon I'm gonna be posting a video about all of the improvements for the 2024 model year for Airstream travel trailers as well as Airstream touring coaches. So I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to see that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, go ahead and click the, the bell icon so you can see when I post the 24 updates. I'm working on that video now. Let's jump to the inside and do a little walk around of the inside. As we step inside, I wanna mention the door here. Uh, one thing that you're gonna notice that's different with the door itself, there's not a top uh, kind of, I guess, aluminum protector, you would call that, or a bottom one. Now you can order those directly off of Airstream's website. It's just a couple of screws uh, to screw those in. We also keep those pretty much in, in uh, stock here at our store in Greensboro, Airstream in Greensboro. We have one of the best parts stores around. So you can add that to kind of make this look a little bit better and to add some protection to the screen. Now, as far as the door goes, it's gonna be that same Airstream craft, craftsmanship that you're used to, six welds on each, or six welds, excuse me, on each side, so a total of 12 welds. They do build this screen and door together, so they are designed to marry together, which is one reason why you always wanna close the doors with the, uh, the screen attached and not separated, and it helps them to keep the same shape. It takes them about eight hours to build these doors by hand, but what you get in return for that time is just one of the most solid sounding doors in the, excuse me, the RV industry. Now, one thing you'll, you'll want to get in the habit of is pushing this lock button back. There is the tendency with these locks, uh, Airstream still hasn't come up with a better solution, but they will kind of gradually move their ways up, their way up, and then it'll actually lock you out of the coach. So you wanna get in the habit of always pushing that shut and potentially keeping a key with you at all times. But you'll see the cast aluminum hinges that they use. They're just super beefy, super strong. The other thing I like to po point out, and I do this with pretty much every video, and it's just crazy to see how consistent these welds are. You know, they hand weld all of this and it looks like it's done with a machine, but they're always perfect. And I think that's just a testament to me of the quality that you are getting with the Airstream. And that includes the Bambi line. Uh, even though they are doing things that bring the price of the Bambi down, they're still giving you that, that true, iconic, uh, time-tested quality that you get with an Airstream. Now, stepping in, you're going to see the colors of the Bambi. And as far as colors go, there are two options with the colors. The only thing that's going to change is these cushions here, and I'll show. I'll try to throw in a photo or video of the other option um, with the seat colors, but this is going to be one of them. And then everything else, like the, the cabinet colors, the door colors, uh, the laminate that's over the walls here, the floor, all of that's gonna say, stay the same. When you're picking your color, the only thing you're really picking is this color, and, and that's really it. The other only option that you really have with the Bambi is whether or not you get solar. Uh, you can either have solar or not solar, uh, that's it. There's no option for a different microwave, there's no option for uh, window awnings, none of that kind of stuff. It's just whether you want solar and then what color that you're going to get. Now, underneath the bench here, you're going to have a nice little spot for shoe storage. You even get a nice little boot tray to slide it under. And then you have two light switches right here. You've got a spot for hanging things like jackets or keys. And of course, the little whiteboard that Airstream pretty much puts on every single travel trailer that they make. Now coming kind of into the space, I want to try to give you uh, the best kind of visual of this camper and the space that you get. Now this is very similar to the Flying Cloud 23 FB. 
that is currently being made. Uh, and then of course it's just like the Caravelle 22 FB, it's the exact same floor plan. Uh, the 23 is gonna give you a little bit more room. I have a video of the 23, I'll post that or link that above if you wanna see it. So you've got some closet storage here, a really nice size wardrobe. One of the larger wardrobes um, in the industry or in, in the travel trailer lineup, you're gonna have this smaller 12 volt refrigerator. That's pretty much the same fridge you get with the Caravelle. A little bit of um, freezer storage above. And of course, that's 12 volt. It will run off your solar, off your batteries, and then off your charge line that comes in from the truck. So you are able to run that refrigerator either, even as you go down the road. Your TV is a 12 volt TV. It's a different TV than what you get with the Caravelle. I, get, I guess this is a cheaper TV. It's a 12 volt TV. It seems to do the job for me. Um, that's all I can really say about that. There is no inverter with the Bambi. You only get the inverter option on the Caravelle, so there's not an inverted plug right here, something to know. And then you have a furnace. This is the control for the Dometic furnace. The AC is not ducted. The Caravelle is gonna give you a ducted AC. So one of the big things they do to lower the price is they give you this drop-in AC unit that's a Dometic. This is the same setup that you get with a base camp. It just drops down. That's also going to be a lot louder, probably about 20% louder than what you would get on a Caravelle or on a Flying Cloud. But it works. It does the job just fine. You also have two fantastic fans, Max fans, one here and one here, which I think is a great touch, even on the Bambi. Uh, now your lights are going to be different. On the Caravelle, you get that true kind of puck light that you see on the Flying Cloud in the interstate or international uh the classic all of those you'll see that now on this these are led lights but they are uh kind of just a different style of light it's kind of the more traditional rv light there's three going across the top here there's not one where any lights just over the dinette you do have one under the cabinet there for lights going to the sink over the sink i should say as far as storage goes you've got lots of storage right there you're gonna have storage down here of course, you'll have storage in this area. You've got your silverware organizer. You've also got your trash can right there. And then you'll have storage above in this area where you'll also find your radio. Storage there. And then storage above right here. Or above the bed, I should say, right there. There's uh, storage behind the area where you sleep. There's a little storage pocket right there. There is storage access behind the dinette right there. There is storage access under the bed. Lots of storage under the bed. These tubs come with the camper. You can lift this bed up as well. So you have all of that storage there. Now that's a, uh, access for servicing probably the furnace. Your battery disconnect is right there. and then you've got your storage there. There is also storage under each seat right there and right here. So as far as storage goes with the 22 foot Bambi, you've got the wardrobe, you've got your little pantry right there, you've got, oops, sorry, storage down there, you've got storage there, two storage compartments there, two storage lockers there, and then all of the storage underneath the bed, as well as the storage that's under your chairs. So a lot of storage for a small floor plan. You're not sacrificing the storage when it comes to Airstream. And that's, that's kind of a testament to Airstream. If they can find a spot to give you storage, they are going to give you storage. And then two burner stove there with the ignition right here. You've got a regular microwave underneath the stove there. So no oven, just the regular microwave. You'll have a different kind of, I guess, traditional style sink with the two halves. And then you've got this kind of cheaper faucet. Now you can easily upgrade this to a better faucet if you really want to. The blinds here are gonna be the metal blinds that just kind of come down. And that's gonna also be the case 
over here for the single window, just the metal blinds. It's not the pull downs that you see with the caravel. Um, and then in the bedroom area, you've got these cloths that go around there. And then same thing here. So they match that for you. Remember this center window does open just like you see on all of your Airstreams. And then this bottom half is going to open or the bottom section on both sides right there will open and then the one behind the micro or the excuse me the sink will also open now i do like the view that you get out of this window um you know versus the port windows but the port windows look so cool so it's kind of that you know kind of give and take now as far as entertainment goes they do give you a radio that does have bluetooth am fm all that kind of stuff there it's, it's got usb there um i don't see hdmi up here I guess they don't give you the HDMI right here. Um, yeah, there's no HDMI cable running. So if you want to have something plugged into this as far as HDMI, you're going to have to set it over here and just plug it in directly. So that's something I've never noticed that is different on the Bambi versus the Caravel. The Bambi would give you an HDMI up there. The, the, or the Caravel, excuse me, would give you HDMI up there. It looks like the Bambi does not. Now, as far as this front area... You've got some storage back here. Now the 22 is gonna have this kind of the same layout as um, the you know the 22 Bambi versus the 22 Caravel. It's really the same. Uh, really nice size bed. This is actually the longest bed um, that you can get as far as queen goes. It is a great size bed as far as laying down goes. There's plenty of room. My feet aren't touching there. And it's actually really comfortable. Now it is a skinny bed. So when you're thinking about, you know, especially if you're you're considering this for a couple, for two people, you know, whoever is on this inside, and if you've got to get up at night, you're literally climbing over the person to get out. Now, if you're just laying here where I'm at, it's very easy to get up. You can just stand right up and then walk to the bed. But there's no there's no open areas here around that, so you can't slide down to the, the bottom here and walk out. There is some room right here. I would probably end up using that for storage, but there's not any room back here. So you are going to have to step over to get out or climb over whoever's in the bed to get out, or that person is going to have to stand up for you to be able to get out at night. Now there's not reading lights up here, but they do give you these two little corner lights on both sides uh, for being able to see at night. And of course you have the storage up there. I do like these little accordion style doors that they put on the Bambi. I um, actually like these better than what comes on the Caravel. It's a different look, but I think it looks really nice. They work ex exactly as they should. Uh, so that's kind of the front section. If you have any questions on this area or if I didn't show you something, let me know. This table does go down. Uh, these just open up here. You could also move this table out. There's a little pull. And then from there, you can pull this table forward. You can turn it around and push it in. I like this because if you have, you know, adults going into this, this area, you actually pull this open, let them get in and, and then kind of set this. So there's enough room for everybody sitting around the U-shaped dinette. Now U-shaped dinette does turn into a bed. So you can sleep theoretically four people in this coach. I would say you can sleep two adults, two kids, two adults, or one kid or one adult, not one kid. Two adults, two kids, two adults, one adult. So three adults or two adults and two kids. That's what, I, that seems to be the room to me. Now I'm gonna turn around and give you a view of the bathroom area. The bathroom area is very similar to what you see on the Caravel. That's gonna be a porcelain toilet. You've got some great storage back here. You've got storage underneath the sink and you're gonna find your toilet paper holder right there. You got a surface mounted stainless steel sink and this is the really nice circle sink and the faucet you've got that window that airstream sources and installs and the bottom half opens and it's just that traditional you know opening and that's as far as it opens there and close that down and you have the mirror that will pull in and you can pull around and get a really good look of yourself right there and that snaps back into place right there. So you do have a mirror, and I like that setup. You still have the, the window, and you have a mirror. I do like that setup. Swinging around, you're going to find your C-Level 2 tank monitor system. 
You've got your battery fresh, gray and black. Your water pump switches right here. You've got your solar charge controller with Victron Energy. It's an MPPT controller. That is right here. If you get the solar option, you'll have your charge controller right there. If it's not there, you don't have the solar option. And then this is gonna be the control for your hot water heater. You'll wanna set this temperature to the temperature you wanna take the shower in. Now, a great upgrade that is fairly easy to do with this shower because of where it's at is adding the shower miser to this, this shower. Uh, what that will let you do is run your, your hot water back into your fresh water tank if you're boondocking and not necessarily have to lose water uh, just to get hot water to that faucet. Um, set that to the temperature you want it and then just turn the hot on and that's it. And then you've got a light switch right here. Now, as far as this bathroom, it is one of the most spacious bathrooms as far as the Airstream goes um, outside of like the classic 33 foot. You know, really when you go bigger with the Airstream, you go to the split bath, which allows you to have the panoramic windows in the front and the back. That's really why the, the split bath exists um, to give you that panoramic. And I think it's worth it. You sacrifice a little bit in the bathroom, but then you get panoramic windows in the front and the back. With this floor plan, the bathroom is the back half of the coach. And, and that gives you a really nice bath. Great size toilet. There's plenty of room here. Um, now the, the seat sits a little bit high because the tank, the black tank is right under it. So I'm 5'9", five, 5'10", five, somewhere around there. And uh, I can tell like my feet, you know, it sits a little high. So if you're short, you're going to notice that. But all in all, great room. There also is a power plug right here for anything that you might need when you're getting ready in the morning. And as far as the shower goes, it's one of the, to me, one of the more comfortable showers. There's a shower head that does have the on off option to be able to stop the water when you're getting, when you're taking your shower. You've got the hot and cold uh, controls right there. There's a spot for putting your soaps and so forth right there. And then there is a seat to sit down when you are taking the shower. As far as the shower goes, it is a great size to me shower. And it's one of the bigger showers, again, in for the Airstream world. The split bath is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit lower because it has this curve in it. And again, with shoes on, I'm probably right at 5'10". I've got a little bit of room here, but I can always sit down too to take a shower if I'm taller. Uh, but there's a lot of room. Like I've got room all around to be able to turn and take the shower. Now you aren't gonna bend over as much like you would in a regular shower. You're gonna use, utilize a shower head that you can move around. Um, to take a shower but great space for a shower in a 22 foot and then this this little guy is going to come over and hook here and you can tighten this down make it a little bit of a shower uh, or a little bit of a clothesline that's not going to be strong enough per se to put heavy towels onto it but things like your bathing suits it works really well for um, so that's a great bathroom again i think it's one of the best bathrooms that they make uh, especially in these shorter single axles all right, folks, that's the, the end of the walk around of the Bambi. The question to answer was, is the Bambi worth the price difference? Like it's a lower price, but what you get, is it worth it? Or would it be better to bump up a little bit? Cause you're, you know, you're about a 10, 10 to $15,000 difference with the Caravelle versus the Bambi. Is that difference worth it? You know, you guys have really got to answer that question. I think that's a personal question that you've got to answer for yourself. Uh, what do you think? Like, tell me in the comments what you think. I do like the Bambi. I'm glad it exists because uh, it enables a whole nother you know, segment of the market to be able to jump into an Airstream and get their first Airstream as a Bambi. It has everything that you need to go camping, uh, to boondock if you want to. You can go boondock with this. Put two good batteries in there. You got a little bit of solar. Uh, you can run the AC, or not the AC, you can run the uh, refrigerator. You can run the two fan, max fans, the max fans. Um, you can run those. You know, it's a good setup. Uh, you've got everything you need. Uh, is it worth it? You know, that's a question you've got to answer. I think it is for the market, for where Airstream is trying to get with the Bambi. I think, I, I would say it's worth it. Uh, you tell me what you think, or would you, you know, if you're looking at the Bambi, would you just get the Caravelle? Or does the Bambi make the most sense because, well, it's a good entry point into the Airstream world. We need more people using the Airstreams because it's a product that will last. It's a product that holds its value and the Bambi is one more spot to be able to jump into it. Now, if you have any questions about this Bambi here or any of the Airstream travel trailers, 
My contact information is down there in the description. I'm here most days here at Airstream in Greensboro. Feel free to drop by and ask for Chad. I'd be happy to show you around and what we have and answer any questions. Other than that, I hope you're having a great day. You live riveted and we'll talk soon.